This is the story of energy and climate change. The energy we all use comes from the Earth's fossil fuels such as gas, oil, peat, coal and petrol. The story begins a long, long, long time ago. Millions of years ago, energy from the sun was absorbed by plants, some of which were eaten by animals. When the animals and plants died, they were covered with mud and waste and became part of the Earth's crust. For millions of years, they were squeezed together and heated from the centre of the Earth until they turned into the fossil fuels that we use today. We use the energy stored in these fossil fuels every day in our homes. We turn some of the fuels into electricity to light rooms and to heat water. A lot of appliances in our homes need electricity to work. Electricity is a great resource which powers much of our lives. It is used in every house, in every street, in every village, town and city in the country. We've come a long way since the dinosaurs. Everywhere you look, you can see fossil fuels being used. We use them to heat our homes and petrol or diesel to move us about on the road, rail and in the air. When we burn fossil fuels, we release the energy inside them that was soaked up from the sun millions of years ago. If you follow the power lines from your home all the way back, you eventually come to the power station providing your energy supply. It is here that burning fossil fuels allows us to make steam in a boiler, which in turn drives a generator to produce your electricity. But burning all these fossil fuels for heat, electricity and transport also creates a gas called carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide is a gas which stays inside the Earth's atmosphere. It allows the sun's rays in, but doesn't let the heat out. The more fossil fuels we burn, the more carbon dioxide we produce to trap the sun's heat. It's a sort of loop. This warming of the atmosphere is causing our climate to change faster than it ever has before. We need to look at smarter ways to use our energy and also to seek alternatives to fossil fuels.